In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step, from sculpting the cake layers to adding the glaze. I will slowly go through the complete modeling, materials, lighting and render setup I used to create this piece of cake. If you happen to run into any problems while following this tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Let's start off by creating the cake layers. So we'll start off with adding a mesh and we'll add a plane. Go into edit mode by pressing tab, press S and X and scale it down on the X axis. And select the two side vertices, press S and X again and scale that down. Press A to select all and then E to extrude it up. Leave edit mode, press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision. Scroll in a bit, go back into edit mode and then with Ctrl R add a loop cut. Press right click to confirm, press Ctrl B to bevel and bevel it. Now press Ctrl R to add a few more loop cuts, I think 3 will do. There we go, leave edit mode, right click, shade auto smooth. Now go into front view, select the object, press shift D to duplicate and then Z and move it up. Once you've placed it, press shift R to redo your last action. So I like the shape of that. Here you can still change the shape of your layers. If you select all of them, go into edit mode, press A to select all. You can press S and Y to maybe Make them a bit more chunky or just the way you want them. There we go. Select the top layer, go into edit mode, select face select and select the top faces. Press shift D and Z to duplicate it and move it up. Then while you have them selected, press P and this little menu will come up and then separate it by selection. Now leave edit mode and then just select your new object. Go back into edit mode, go into edge select, and then select all the side edges. You can select all of them by holding uh, shift and alt. And then press E and Z and extrude it down. And now with control R, add another loop cut and move it up quite a bit. There we go. Leave edit mode, press G and Z and move it down. And then we'll place it there. Now we'll go to the modifier tab here on the right. Then we'll add a modifier and we'll add a solidify. Then we'll move solidify above the subdivision modifier where we'll also add a render to three. And then we'll change the thickness to minus. And then here you can kind of just do it the way you like it. So I'm going to change it to maybe minus 0 0.9. That's fine. And then we'll go back into edit mode. And then we'll go into bird select. And then here we can move down the verts to kind of make like the drippy feeling of them. Kind of like moving them up so they're above the top layer a bit so it shines through a but you can do it just exactly the way you want. I think I want to add another loop cut here as well, like that. So then we can move this one maybe down. Now let's, I'm going to move it up. Then we'll move this one down. And then the back side. We'll move this one down and we'll move this one down. And then there's one there that will move up. And then move this one up a tiny bit as well. Gonna move this one down a tiny bit yeah i like how that looks okay so as you can see it's a bit bigger than the layers here so if we select all press s to scale and then shift z we'll only scale it on the x and the y axis and we'll scale it down just so it looks good there looks perfect and then with g and z we can still check like okay that's where the top layer comes through so we'll move it down a tiny bit there. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's add the chocolate piece. So press shift A, add a plane, press G and Z to move it up. Go into edit mode, scale it down there and then S and Y to scale it up in the Y axis. And then we'll press E to extrude. And then with control R, we'll add two loop cuts there and we'll add one loop cut there. 
on face select select all the top faces press i to inset and we'll just inset like that and then press i twice so we inset on each face and there and then press e to extrude it up and then press your period point to change the pivot point to individual origins and then we'll scale it down a tiny bit press i to inset and then e to extrude it down and then we'll scale it down just a tiny bit more there we go that's our chocolate piece um i think we should add some bevels to this so if we go to a modifiers add modifier add a bevel and then we'll change it to four segments and then we'll change the amount to to 0.04 right click shade auto smooth and then leave edit mode if you're in edit mode go select the object and press r twice to rotate it and then we'll try and place it into the cake press g and z to move it down and here you can place it kind of just the way you want to this is also where you can still adjust your sizing if you think like ah oh, it looks too too big too small you can make it bigger you can make it smaller there i uh yeah that looks kind of good okay then we'll add a plate so we'll go shift a add a mesh and we'll add a circle make it a tiny bit bigger go into edit mode press f to fill and then press e to extrude it up press e again extrude it up and scale it up press e again extrude it up and scale it up press e again scale it down press i like that press i again press g and z and there we go it's a pretty decent uh, plate leave edit mode press ctrl 3 to add a modifier subdivision modifier go back into edit mode with face select select the top face press i to add the inset like that and then now we can adjust it a tiny bit maybe add a loop cut here with ctrl r move it down a tiny bit to give it some more edges leave edit mode right click shade smooth then select the plate press g and z then we'll move it down now if your plate is too small i think mine is a bit too small go into edit mode press a to select all press s and then shift z to scale it upwards in the x and y axis and there i like that a bit more there we go press a to select all go into front view and then move your whole object up so it's on the x axis so and then we'll add another plane go into edit mode and scale it up and then we'll rotate it there 45 degrees go into edit mode go edge select select this edge press e and z to extrude it up select this edge again press ctrl b to bevel and then with your mouse we'll increase the bevels there leave edit mode shade smooth press shift a and add a camera go into camera view press g and set twice and then move your camera back change the output settings we'll change the resolution to 1920 by 1920 there we go and then we can move it up and kind of position the cake the way we want to there kind of like how that looks then we'll press set and we'll change into rendered view here we'll add a light go add an area light press g and z and move it up and then we'll go into the settings here we'll change the shape to disc the size to three we'll increase the power to maybe 75 looks decent i think yeah that looks fine then we'll uh change the color of the light to give it a tiny bit more of a yellowish feeling i'm gonna use this hex code there we go now maybe move it up a tiny bit more press period point to change your pivot point change it to 3d cursor and then press sh with your light selector press shift d r x 45 
like that and press G and Z twice and move it backwards a bit and then press shift D R Z 90 and then that looks pretty good select your top light again press shift D and then move it backwards so you could go into top view and then we'll move it somewhere there to create a bit of a light in the background let's see look in our camera there we can see it coming through perfect okay then we'll go into our render settings and we'll change the render engine to cycles this device to gpu compute color management go to look and go to medium high contrast and then we'll change the world color to nice red color and then let's start adding the colors for the background select the background go to material settings add a new material call it background change the base color to a nice orange color and i'm gonna change the roughness to around 3.35 yeah that looks good then we'll add the plate color new material call it plate change the color just a slight difference and then change the roughness to 0.2 there we go also, if you uh, press Control B while in camera view, and you drag around your camera, you'll only render that place, so it's easier for your computer. Then we'll add the dark chocolate layers. So select the bottom layer, add a new one, call it the dark layer. Go to base color, and then we'll change it. There we go. And then we want the top layer to be the same as that color. So select the top layer, hold shift, select your bottom layer, press Ctrl L and then M to link the materials. And then it will have the same material as the bottom layer. Select your middle layer now. We'll call this light layer. Add a base color. You can just pick the colors you like. I just picked some colors I like myself, but you can do it just the way you want to do it. Then for the glaze, um, we'll add this and we'll add, call it a glaze. The first thing we do is change the transmission all the way to one and change the roughness all the way to zero. And that already looks kind of good, but I'm going to give it a very bright color. Because I think, yeah, something like that. There we go. All right, and then we'll add a nice color for the chocolate. Call it chocolate. Add the base color. Then change the roughness to 0.35, and this needs to be way darker, of course. I think maybe change it there a bit. There. Yeah, that looks great. And that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed it. If anything was unclear or you have any other questions or requests, please let me know in the comment section. If you decide to post your artwork on Instagram, tag me in it since I'd love to see your work. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. And remember, the more you practice, the better your 3D skills will become. Thank you for watching and good luck.